Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Shonville. I'm doing a creative edit on this night photo. So on a photo of the stars, the night, beautiful shot. It's obviously unprocessed, so it doesn't look very good right now, but uh, I'm gonna walk you through sort of how I would approach editing a photo like this, and we'll make it look awesome. It's not very hard to do. Um, obviously, it's easier when you've shot in RAW versus JPEG, just remembering that a JPEG picture is sort of a, a compressed format, that's a final version to a degree. Uh, think of it like a pack of crayons, a JPEG image has like 10 crayons to work with, whereas a RAW image has, let's say, a thousand crayons. So there's a lot more options to work with in RAW. So looking at the image here, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure my screen is good. There we go. All right, so the first thing I wanna look at, obviously it's a bit darker. Now being a, a night image, that's fine that it's darker, uh, but we want to try and enhance different parts of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just hit auto and see what happens. And wow, obviously Lightroom doesn't know what it wants. Now when, when you hit auto in Lightroom, what it's trying to do is, um, it's trying to correct your histogram and make it closer to a peak in the middle, which is why hitting auto looks horrible with a night photo because a night photo is designed to be darker. So in reality, Lightroom doesn't know what to do and Lightroom's auto fixes are not actually working in this example. So let's hit reset here and uh, just go from there. So let's just work through different parts of this picture. So the first thing I'm gonna work on is the stars and I just want to enhance the stars. Now the stars are these obviously uh, little specks, little dots and they're bright spots, like they're, they're highlights. So I'm not gonna increase the highlights too much, but I'm, also, but I'm definitely gonna increase the whites. Now, obviously, you're seeing all of this white and highlight increasing here, because that's the brightest section. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you notice here in the foreground, closest to us, it, it's the shadows, right? So there's a, a bank, and uh, there are some trees, and basically, I wanna be able to see a little bit into that. And we'll see how that looks. So I'm gonna basically reduce my shadows a bit. And I can see, because obviously it's a shadow there, it's not too bad. If I increase my exposure a bit, okay, it's not too bad, we can work with that. I'm gonna bring down my blacks, there we go. A little more contrast, more colors coming out. Now, if you notice here, if you zoom in, there's a lot of noise. And it's not because my camera's crappy, no, the camera's actually awesome. Uh, but the difference is that when you're shooting at night, obviously my ISO is 2500 and the way ISO works is if you're if you have a bright sunny day and you have a high ISO, you're not going to really see the grain because you have enough natural light. ISO is designed to amplify or enhance that light. When you're shooting in the dark or at night, the ISO actually starts to work in a different way in the sense that it tries to enhance the light. So you're actually manipulating, adding light that actually doesn't exist. That's why you see the grain. So obviously in Lightroom, an amazing thing is down in the details panel here. Um, I'm gonna increase the sharpening and it might seem counterproductive because what you're doing is you're, you're actually adding grain to a degree. But the next one I wanna do is the noise reduction. Now, I'm gonna increase that quite a fair bit. Keep my contrast up, keep my detail up, and that looks really good. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to turn this panel off and on so you can see. So this is without the noise reduction, this is with the noise reduction. So there actually is a pretty dramatic difference. All right, looking pretty good. Um, so let's look at the before and after. This is the before. Oh, their computer. There. So this is the before. And this is the after. And what you're seeing here is actually, actually a different view, a little bit easier. Um, so you can actually see my computer's a little bit slow right now, I don't know why. It's a beast of a computer, there we go. So on the, the left is um, what we're working with, the, the right is the after. Now I processed this photo before, so I'm actually going to do this. I create a virtual copy of this, just because it's not working exactly the way I want. I'm going to hit reset, there we go. That's what I want to see. Perfect, okay so. Before and after, on the, it says it's reversed, don't worry about it, but looking here on this side, this is um, the before, be obviously unprocessed and much darker, and on the left here is the after with uh, a couple quick edits 
in Lightroom, remember, you're, you're enhancing your picture, you're not modifying it, meaning you can remove th things to a degree like Photoshop, but Photoshop is, a, is a, a, in my opinion, a photo creation tool that you can obviously do the same adjustments here, but you can also create a picture from scratch. Whereas Lightroom, it's very much an enhancement tool. It's there to enhance what exists uh, and, and not truly modify it to an extent, meaning you're enhancing it, what you're working with it actually exists in the photo and you're just bringing it to light. Think of like an onion, you're peeling back the layers of the onion to allow your photo to shine through. So yeah, the picture obviously, right side is unprocessed, left side's processed. Um, it's brighter obviously, and um, I think that looks pretty good. So looking at it here, I'm actually really happy with this. Obviously there's a lot of blue in it because it's at night. Um, if you really wanted to play with that and reduce it, you can just go up here to temperature and um, let's go a little bit at a time and just make it a little warmer. Looks pretty good. I like that. Looks in good. Looking good. All right. Um, obviously before and after. So there is a pretty big difference. Before much darker, after much brighter. I'm actually going to keep a bit more of that blue because I liked the way that was looking. And uh, before that, now what you can do too is you can add some clarity. We'll see what it looks like. Um, Clarity is just going to darken your darks and obviously brighten your highlights in an attempt to add clarity or simulate the concept of clarity. Um, if you pull it back, it softens the image. If you increase it tremendously, uh, if you think of an HDR photo, that's sort of what clarity does in a way of explaining it. Um, if I had a little bit of clarity, that works well. Now, what was happening in this picture initially, there was um, fog in the distance which is why you see this this sort of this misty, foggy element. There is orange, that's actually from a city, uh, a town across the, the lake. And uh, there's a bit of orange there. So I'm gonna try to increase just my oranges in my, in my saturation here. And uh, just smooth that out a bit. That looks pretty good. I turn that off so you can see the difference. It's very slight, but um, a little more orange there. And I like color in my photos, meaning um, sometimes they're black and whites, but in this example, I like the color to enhance it, to really showcase it. And um, looking at before and look at the after, it's a big difference. Yeah, very big difference. It looks way better. And it's a couple simple things. Now remember, photography is subjective. This is what I'm looking to do. This is the result I'm looking for. But when you're editing your photos, you can do whatever you want. You can make it more purple, more green. You can make it brighter, darker. In reality, it doesn't matter. Just knowing that walking through, understanding how Lightroom works, uh, even in the basics panel, there's some simple things you can do to any picture to really enhance it and uh, it doesn't take a lot of work. So thanks again for watching. My name is Matthew Shawnell. This is a creative edit on a nightscape photo or a star photo, let's say. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and learned a couple things. And um, I look forward to eventually seeing some of your pictures in the future. Stay tuned for more. See ya.